I feel like I deserve to win a couple bracelets this year. I mean, I just played phenomenal poker. Uh, for anybody inside the poker world, they saw me lasting 12 hour, 12 hour, 12 hour, 12 hour, 12 hour days. Just didn't get anything out of it. I think it's more difficult when you're playing Pot Limit Omaha or Pot Limit Omaha 8 or better or some of these mixed games. I raise the level of my game where I feel like I'm a top five Pot Limit Omaha tournament player, not cash game player. And, I'm, and I feel like I'm one of the best uh, Pot Limit Omaha 8 or better tournament players because I spent 10 days in a row playing deep, 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 deep in, in four different tournaments, day three, day two, day three, day two and gave myself a chance to win four bracelets in Omaha. And I was deep four days, in a, you know, four different tournaments in a row. And, uh, and so I feel like I'm gonna win some of those tournaments. The problem is that in Hold'em, had I had those runs, there's more skill involved in Hold'em than Hold'em. So if I read somebody as weak and I move in on them, they have to fold. Whereas in Omaha, they may call me with a weird hand and get there. So the prob that's the problem, is that Hold'em, there's just more skill. So if it, with the powers I had going for me, our reading abilities and everything I had going for me, I think it would have been great. I might have won a Hold'em tournament, but I spent the last 15 days playing primarily Omaha. Now, I feel like I, feel like I also feel great about my Stud 8 or better tournament game. You know, I worked really, really hard at these games. And, and what I saw out there, every time I made it down to four tables, was a lot of weak play. Not from the great players, but from a lot of players that were really good in these games, they still were missing stuff. So I felt like, wow, I really am really good at all these other games this year, the way I'm playing. And I could see all the mistakes everybody else was making, and it felt good to me. Loved my entrance yesterday. I mean, they had just, uh, they, had, they hired these amazing dancers that were dancing on stage, and, and they kind of walked me in. and. And it was just kind of crazy, and a ton of people showed up just for the entrance. Sometimes we've done it at like breaks in the past, and then you can't distinguish who's there just for the entrance. I think they had a couple thousand people that showed up just for the entrance, and it was hot, man. People were sweating. They had to wait <clears throat> 20, 25 minutes for me to come out of the limo. And, uh, and I was, you know, the, the number of flash bulbs and the number, it was really a spectacle. And, you know, Bruce Buffer announcing me from UFC, me being an MMA fighter. I had so much fun with it. I mean, it was like probably one of my better entrances. Playing Caesar's a tough deal, you know. I mean, it was a great entrance, but playing Caesar, you know, playing an MMA fighter is like, all right, I've seen these guys every day, you know. And, and so it was just a lot of fun, and I think, it, you know, we received worldwide press coverage. It's amazing how everybody picked it up, you know. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I mean, just the last few weeks, I'm in Time Magazine, you know. I'm in USA Today, like, a ton. There's a big article yesterday, or a smaller article yesterday. Uh, you know, I was on the front page of the business section of the Las Vegas, you know, Review Journal with the, the Caesar picture. And so, uh, I think that this press is great for poker. I mean, there was a calmness, there was like a peace, a serenity that I'm just not used to. And uh, and I thought it would bode well for me, and uh, it didn't. You know, I mean, it, as it turned out. Um, you know, I, I lost with a lot of hands. I lost with jacks and queens. And, and so, I mean, I, I feel like I ran average and I played phenomenal. And, and, and that's why I had the results. In fact, I probably ran a little below average. I look forward to being able to play at this level. Hopefully I'll do it next year because last year I didn't play at the level. 09, I didn't play at the level I wanted to. 010, I'm coming in, I'm smoking. I hope that I can play at this level for the next two or three years. And one of those years, I'm going to run above average. Maybe one of those years, I'll, want, I'll run great. And then I'll win two bracelets in one year. And then the arms race is on. <laughs>